air in the cupboard and so the cupboard door fell down. Oh my god! What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Yes, that is a toucan bird on, on my hat. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But thank you for tuning in today guys. I thought we started off by making a nice chicken tikka cheese and spinach wrap. So there is 160 grams of chicken, a handful of cheese, 50% reduced fat and spinach as well, so plenty of spinach to put the meal out. So, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Drop a like if you are excited for the review, we'll get to that a little bit later. Just going to go throughout my day and stuff like I normally would. Drop a like if you are excited. Let's get it started. Mm. Hello. What are you doing behind the doors? Right, so if you guys have watched any of my Alpha Loot reviews in the past, what I tend to do for every single one of them is have, well for most videos, most days on my story, is have a white monster. As you guys just saw, there was none in the fridge. There was a purple one and an orange one, but no white. But, not to worry, we've got a storage here. This was bought from Muscle Food maybe two, three weeks ago, and if you guys saw that video, uh, I think it's maybe three or four videos ago by now. Um, this was the extra one. The deal was something like if you bought a box of grenade bars, then you got a monster for 49p, and so we bought a couple of boxes, but they only sent us one of monster, so we've got them here. So pretty much, the reason I try to put something like this in every single Alpha Leap review video it's because I know that one way or another, either Christian or one of his team, somebody is going to be watching this video from Alpha Leet. And so, that means, one way or another, a message will get over to Christian Guzman that he needs to get his 3D energy drinks over to the UK. Purely because I am dying to try them. I have one of these most days, probably every day, at least every day I'm at work, um, I have one of these. They're more often than not on my Instagram story, so get your 3D energy drinks over to the UK, Christian, because they will sell like hotcakes. Cheers. Now this is actually cold enough to drink straight from the garage. Purely because if you are new to the channel, if you're new to the athlete video, thank you for tuning in. I upload every single Wednesday and every single Sunday, maybe an extra one every now and then here and there on a Friday, but I actually train in a home gym, which is where I was a minute ago, where these were being stored. It's a garage home gym, and so here in the UK, you can get pretty damn cold. My point is, cold enough straight from the garage. Cheers. So, today's session is going to be filled with a combination of chest, a uh, combination of shoulders, triceps. It's pretty, much, it's pretty much a push session, but if you are new to the channel, again, I've started a new routine, and uh, I'm kind of just sticking to the process, sticking with it um, as much as I can. There's a couple of things we need to change because of what we have available to us. Loving the routine so far, it's going to be a sick session. Drop it a like if you are excited. We'll get to the review in a minute, don't worry, but stick with me. Let's go. Right, okay, it is the following day, and I need you guys to do me a quick favor. It takes two seconds. Can you do me a favor? If, if you're enjoying the video so far, drop the video a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. Like I say, I upload every Wednesday, every Sunday. This week's schedule's kind of messed up because of this video, but either way, stick with me and you won't regret it. Right, okay, so, the token story. As promised, I'm gonna put some sort of context as to why the friggin' hell 
I bought a hat with a toucan on it. Pretty much, <laughs> you're gonna laugh, right? Pretty much, when I was in year three, so grade four if you are American, I think, year three, so I was maybe eight, I just moved to a new school and they had this art competition, right? Now for this art competition, you pretty much had to draw some sort of exotic bird or exotic animal, I can't remember what it was, but one way or another, I chose a toucan. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, Liam, no one gives a sh if you drew a toucan when you were eight years old. Bear with me. The funny part comes when I woke up at 9 p.m., which was late at the time because I was eight years old, the night before that this competition was on, right? I woke up the night before because it was a house competition and I hadn't practiced. You weren't allowed to trace anything. You weren't allowed to have anything to help you on the day. So pretty much, I was screwed. So myself and the old man actually came together and decided on a toucan. Practiced it, practiced it, practiced it, practiced it, and had very little sleep, went in the next day for this competition, right? Now it's not a normal competition. They wouldn't let you color it in, they wouldn't let you use, I don't know, felt tips, they wouldn't let you use paint. You had to use this one particular pen that they gave you, and obviously in different colors, and you had to dot it. You couldn't color it in like a normal person, you had to dot, 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 dot. Look how many colours there are, look how many different parts there are to my toucan on my hat, right? Imagine being eight years old and drawing that. So anyway, the highlight of the story is that I absolutely smashed it. I came first in the house competition and as a result, the Kill Bill toucan shall forever live on in my memory. But you guys don't care about that, do you? You guys are here for the review. He opened the first of three items. I got three in total. One cut off tee, one pair of camo joggers, and the backpack. I have around about a 41, 42 inch chest. I'm five foot six, five foot seven ish. Currently weighing around about 173 to 174 pounds. So actually a good five or six pounds less than when I did my last alpha review. So then everybody, here we have the Alpha Elite white cut off tee. My decision to go for white was purely because I feel like I have a vest or like cut off tee in every single colour except white. I have like red ones, black ones, I have uh, maroon, the purple one that I always wear, I have camo ones, all sorts. But one colour I don't have is actually a white one and as you can see it's actually a little bit long. I mean it's great in terms of length because it's not going to ruffle up when you're doing your exercises but there's a couple of things to bear in mind here. One, I am really short. I'm five, I'm in between five foot six and five foot seven. So for an average guy, I'm pretty short. Sure. On top of that, these are also made to shrink. So what you can see out here at the minute is that it comes down way past my bum. It actually covers my Alpha Elite joggers, my entire, you know, my entire backside. So I'm hoping that this is going to shrink up an inch or so. If it does, then it would just be perfect. The material's great. I mean, like it feels great, looks great. It's got this nice little taper thing as well. So that's kind of cool. Goes well with the Alpha Elite joggers that I am currently wearing and the one from October's launch. <laughs> well, these are sick. <laughs> I have wanted to do that ever since the first pair of premium joggers came out, and this is what sold it to me. When Christian did this, right, he went, and I was just like, I have to have those joggers. But the fit on these is amazing. The length is better than the striped joggers that I had before because as you guys know, I'm five foot six, five foot seven, but on top of that, I also have shorter legs and the longer torso. Overall, the material feels great. The fit is great. The length is great, but one thing. I am a very hot individual. Now, I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet when I say that. By that, I mean I get hot freaking hot very freaking easily meaning when I'm wearing stuff like this that's tight on my legs in particular I get very very hot you may want to have considered the origin joggers over the premium ones because they are quite thin because of, because of how stretchy they are they are quite thin that makes them ideal for someone like me who doesn't really need help in terms of getting warm and keeping warm 
But other people in the UK, in particular watching this video, you may want to consider the Origin joggers over these. I don't know, it's, it's all personal preference. Now, onto the bag. Now the reason I'm so excited about this backpack is purely because I have had the original backpack for the last three years. As you guys can see here, I even had it embroidered that said LSJTV. At the time they had like embroidery for an extra 15 quid, I think. I have used this bag every single day since. It's been on many travel trips with me, it's been to work with me, and to be honest, it's getting a little bit tatty now. You can see that it's kind of ripped there on the handle, but to be honest, that's my fault, I put way too much in this bag for every single day for three years and it's held out the way that it has. That is why I'm so excited about this bag in particular. So the thing I want most from this bag, to be completely honest with you guys, is to be able to fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro in there. Number one issue, solved. Now the next question is, can it fit all of this stuff that was already in my old Alphalete bag into the new one. Short answer, yes it can. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and maybe you took something from it if you actually managed to snag anything before it all sold out because that happens every freaking time. Christian and the team, congratulations on what I assume will be a very successful launch purely because I spent a lot of freaking money and I know a lot of people watching this video will have too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please, oh, wrong way. Please do me a massive favor and drop a like, comment down below and subscribe if you like what you saw today and stay tuned for so much more. Thank you so much for tuning in to LSJ TV today. Much love as always and I'll see you in the next one.